I'm just enjoying my beautiful private garden. My really, really new, 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 new lab. I really like these fake trees that were built. Yeah, I really wish Mojang made these trees an actual thing. Not like your standard bushy ones. <coughs> so. Okay, let's go to our lab. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to make underwater TNT and underwater torches. Bum. Bum. First, the underwater torch is this. It fizzes and it... And as you can probably guess, you can put it underwater and it... And it pretty much acts as a torch. And all you need, if you're doing it in survival, you, uh, you need to make magnesium, which is 12, 12, 12. And a torch. And I have no idea how to craft this, but you can look it up. Why am I here? Take a lab table, put a torch, the magnesium on top of that, and you have yourself an underwater torch. It's really helpful if you're doing underwater structures, especially in the new aquatic update. But hey, you can always use sea pickles, the unofficial candle of the sea. But you can, but it does this cool fizz effect every couple seconds. And now how to make the underwater TNT. And it is not magnesium. I think you need calcium, I think. Pretty sure it's calcium. And TNT. Nope, not calcium. Uh, beryllium? Nope. No. Ah. Sodium. And sodium. Yeah. So the, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. And the sodium is 11, 11, 12. Or well, it could be 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 12, or 11, 11, 13. Whichever one you want. And these just look really cool, and I will get to some really weird terrain. It's close by, and you know what? I am going to use the Elytra. And... So I got some flight duration one rockets. And if you see here, the chunks are really weird because 
Yeah, I don't know why, but it seems like they just replaced a chunk with a nosing chunk. And it can result in some pretty, pretty weird stuff. Like this. If I place a torch there, it'll all flow down. But this is where we, we, we will be doing it. Let's go to the very, let's, okay. Huh. Let's go under one cave. So let's say you're cave exploring and you only have underwater torches. Well, they do the same thing as regular torches and they have the same uh, light level. And if you go underwater, as you can see, you can actually place them underwater. But with regular torches, you can't. And I, if you do swim through it, whenever it does that particle effect, it doesn't fill your air up. It kind of looks like it did, since if you see it, kind of emits bubbles. But the underwater TNT, normal TNT underwater. Let me show you what happens. And at the end of the video, I will be showing you how to, um, well, I think how to make it so that whenever your, like, lab explodes and you make the garbage, garbage, I just say good garbage, um, it actually, like, explodes, explodes. So normal TNT underwater. There's nothing. Underwater TNT underwater. It actually explodes. So you can easily go underwater mining with these. And do not click away from the video. I am I am going to show you a thing with observers and um TNT. Well at least I think. I haven't experimented with this but I will keep trying to experiment and see what happens. Okay. Place on your TNT. You know. Observer. Observer. Three observers. Break the two bottom ones. And then... Well, they can just be going blocks. Because you can observe it, that's what I have on me. Put that, and then that. And if I am correct, if I combine calcium and yeah, just a whole bunch of calcium. Oh, wow. Well, I guess it didn't work, but I love making garbage. Then, then what I love doing is I love combining all of the garbage into one. Okay, I need nine pieces of Ooh, I haven't had that one before. Yeah, it's just fun to mess around with, you know. And... Oh. 
I thought this was gonna be some sort of humongous explosion. More tiny smoke particles. Well, anyway, I thought it was technically a block update, so I thought it would sense that it was a block update, but no. No bomb? Well, anyway, I hope you liked today's episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!